Hello there and welcome back to another video. Happy Valentine's Day to everyone celebrating it out there. So today we will be building the Valentine Lovebirds, I believe this set is called. I've not had much luck with these display sets and their names, so I've probably got that wrong. But either way, it's a really neat set. It comes with two birds. I really love the fun note, the wintertime polar bears. And the Halloween cat and mouse, which the mouse comes in a pumpkin. Both great sets. The videos for them both are up on my channel if you want to get the full review. And now we're looking at the third out of four. There is a brand new one, which is actually featured on the box. Just here, if you can get a good look. And I've actually got the box just up there. You can see it just out of shot. I will be reviewing that Easter, which I think Easter Sunday actually falls at the end of March. So... That video is going to come around sooner this year, so do stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed before you continue watching this video. But today we're going to be looking at the lovebirds. As I said, we're getting a green bird, we're getting a more of a yellowy bird. Both tropical birds, and I really like these pieces, not just because of the actual builds themselves, but it's a lot of snot techniques and different bricks that are really cool if I ever want to take these apart to put into other mocks. But I will probably keep these on display alongside my polar bears and my Halloween pumpkin, mouse and cat. So stay tuned, there will be a review of all four of these and I'm actually looking to build my own custom one. We've got this one in February, the Easter bunnies in March and a special one for April. But without further ado, let's take a look at this set. And as you can see, this set does look lovely. It compares quite nicely to the others. And now I'm gonna do the comparison at a later date but I will say the base for it is more or less the same size. It's still got these rounded panels on the edges, which do make it look quite nice. I mean, it still takes up the space of the square base, but it just looks nicer with them rounded corners and all the extra features that they've added, like this bush on the right. But I think we'll start off with the birds, which are the main part of the lovebirds. As you can see, you can turn them in, make it look like they are embracing each other. You can have them more front on or even slightly looking away from each other. I think the best angle to display them is as the box shows them slightly turned in and you've got this lovely heart on the back, which we'll take a look at quickly. It's only a small heart. It's clipped into a two by one black clip with the horizontal clip. You don't see these parts too often. I'm pretty sure I've got one or two in my collection and that is it because Really, if they ever want to include them, they tend to just have the one by one. This is quite a nice pointer, actually, for showing you where these pieces are. You've got a red flower on top and a red flower to the side. Just to make this sort of log or branch, I think it is meant to represent some sort of branch that is just floating there to make it look a bit more detailed rather than just plain at the back. As I said, we've got this nice, clear, translucent piece right on the back and the heart clips just to the two studs on the end the heart is made out of a load of slopes you can see there's some inverted one by two 45 degree slopes i believe these are 45 degrees with a bracket on the back to hold the two jumper plates a little stud with a hole in at the bottom to get that nice bottom point and then two one by four plates and two red cheese slopes which is a really neat looking heart of course we do have the actual heart plates which are fairly new compared to this set. This is now an officially retired set. The one I showed you at the start, the rabbit box and the, oh, I think it's the polar bears aren't retired. And then the Halloween one and this one are, they are retiring the other two. So chances are you're not gonna be able to wait till Christmas to pick it up. If you want it, I recommend picking it up with perhaps your March purchases or even your May purchases if you're a big Star Wars fan. But I do really like the heart and it does add some quite nice red highlights into it. We've obviously got the flowers I've already mentioned and the heart and the beaks for the two tropical birds. So you've got the red sprinkled throughout, of course, the green, oranges and yellows on the bird. A bit of pink for the two different coloured hearts. This here is a darker pink than the ones on the bush. Actually, I think these two are a different colour to these three, which are a different colour to this one. I'm a, this might be the same colour as the other two. It might just be playing up in the camera, but it does definitely look different. I think this might actually be different to the other five. But either way, you get two different coloured hearts. Three if you include the big red one. And the birds themselves are built very, very nicely. Situated on these 
turntable pieces, the two by twos with the four studs on top rather than the one sort of middle. It's not an anti-stud, but I don't really know what the other one's called. Luckily, I don't have to know because it's not included in this set. But the birds themselves are really cool. The wings do move up and down, so you can put them at this nice angle on the side. And the detailing for the feathers is quite nice. The head is very rounded compared to how it could be. These are sort of not really brick heads. These are like smaller, more detailed brick heads, which there is actually a brick head you could have got for Valentine's. I'll include that in a future video I have in the works, so stay tuned for that. But they've even included some feather detail on the back that really no matter how you're seeing it, you're not going to have the bird turned away. So you're not going to see it that much. But they've sloped off the back with a curved slope and a very tall two brick high slope. Is that two? Yeah. Two brick high slope and some teeth at the bottom. And then we have this four long curved slope which is built into the butt of the bird and just sticks out. Like the typical birds, these are sort of parakeet looking birds. I don't know exactly what breed they were going after, but they definitely remind me of a colourful parakeet, which is really cool because where me and my fiancé used to live, there were a ton of parakeets. I think the story goes that a few years ago, many years ago, someone bought over a pair of them and they had to let them go because they weren't exactly legal to keep as pairs. They just bred and bred and now... London is just full of parakeets so it's really nice to get these birds and as with all displays you do get two which they've done really well because they're the same bird they could have just included the same colours but as you can see they've swapped out the yellow on the right one for orange on the left and then the green top for that yellow and it does make them look like they are completely different builds I do believe they are built near enough exactly the same me and my fiance did split this up. I did the one on the left, she did the one on the right. So I can't say for certain, but they definitely look more or less exactly the same. The only difference, of course, being the different colours that were used. There's a bunch of snot techniques. As I said at the start, keeping these studs up, of course, we've got the snot brick on the side, which actually goes into the hole of a 2x2 plate, which is a really nice design. You don't see Lego do that too often plenty of slopes and curves used so you're not getting as many snot bricks as perhaps the rabbit might include or definitely not as many as the cat and mouse or the arctic polar bears but it's still a really nice set and you're just connecting these on to the two by four plates i think this one i connected at the front and this one at the back just to bring them a bit closer in but you can connect them both at the front both at the back really however you wish to design and it does give them a nice little bobble there as you can see if you were to dunk it as well as the heart the birds do rock just a little bit but not quite enough to be bobbles themselves but it is a really really neat set and though it is retired you can definitely not only pick this up second hand but Bricklink is officially owned by Lego it has been for a while there's a few changes I'd like to discuss in tomorrow's video perhaps but definitely, if you like this set, look at parting it out over there. It's probably not even going to cost you what this set costs you in retail. I'll put a side-by-side -side on screen now what it costs on lego.com and all the pieces on Bricklink. Because a few of them are probably more expensive, like the hearts that haven't been included in many sets up till recently. But it's a lot of snot and slope techniques. I'm not sure if there are any exclusive pieces. Once again... I'll leave any exclusive pieces on screen for you now. But if you do like this set, do consider parting it out on Bricklink. And I think this would make a great Valentine's build as you can split them up. The two instructions allow for one person to build the left bird and the base and the other person to build the right build and the heart that goes behind it. So perhaps one of you is a quicker builder. I'd recommend giving that one the base to build. It's really not that much quicker than the heart because there's much more smaller pieces used for it, but there's definitely more pieces in the base. So if you do decide to part it out, I hope you have fun building it. Before we wrap up this video, I've actually put aside the spare pieces so we can look at just how many spare pieces there are if they don't all roll away. As we do get a few different flower pieces as you can see red and green flower piece 
the green flower pieces I didn't mention actually hold the leaves on these stems over here. So it is really nice to get an extra stem with them. You've basically got an extra flower here that you can add a bunch of different plates and tiles. Most noticeably, of course, we get the two different shades of heart. So I guess there was two, not three. And like with most of these sets, we do get a spare eye to go with them. So if you did pick up two, perhaps you want to pick up the polar bears and the bunnies before they retire because they're both 30 40 percent off which is a great deal i bought this at full price i wasn't giving this on discount or nothing i bought this and i paid full price for it because honestly it is really worth that much and i just had to get all four of them but a bunch of really nice pieces slopes a bunch of these round pieces as well which i don't know they aren't too common in a lot of the cheaper sets so there's a nice varied selection of spare pieces to add to your collection and of course the display model just looks so good in itself anyway. So I'll leave you with this screen and stay tuned for more awesome content. Be sure you are subscribed and may the bricks be with you always.